Ratch and his friends escape its slavering fangs. Nothing can stop the terrifying werewolf from the darkest depths of the forest. Will Archie fall prey to its horrible jaws? Please release me! What do you think of my Titanic burger? I bet she goes down in less than three hours. Ah. I need a good line for my story about a monster that rips um. people open, then devours their spleens. Hey, I'm eating here. Good one, thanks. Look, a hole in the ozone. Huh? huh? Where? Between your ears. <laughs> Very funny, Reggie. Ow. Huh? How do you like your napkins? Medium rare? Ha! You know, Reggie, your practical jokes are not only dorky, they hurt people. Ah, uh, Jughead has an iron oh. stomach. So, what's our freckle-faced boy wonder working on? If you must know, it's my latest weird mysteries article. Ooh, I've got a weird mystery for you. Why do people pay to see Leonardo DiCaprio when they can see Reggie Mantle for free? Prankster. At least I don't have to make up dumb stories to get noticed. Listen, my articles are hard-hitting investigative reports about important topics. Are there werewolves in our grocery stores? <laughs> ha! Important my tailbone. My police scanner said a store was robbed last night, and the only thing taken was red meat. Ha! Some guy has a barbecue, and you think he's a werewolf. Good thing eggs weren't stolen, or he'd blame the Easter Bunny. <laughs> Hi, Veronica. Hello, one and all. So, what's the joke? Archie and his scatterbrained mysteries. Sophisticated folks don't believe in werewolves, do we, Veronica? Werewolves, huh? Sounds earthy. Let me help with your research, Archiekin. We can drive up to Lookout Point and use ourselves as bait. We'll snuggle in the moonlight and wait for him to show up, hmm? You can even wear my ring around your neck for good luck. Good idea, Ronnie Cakes. Uh, hold your wild horses, Veronica. Where do you think you're going huh? with my date? <laughs> Hi, Betty. Archie, did you really make a date with this, this <gasps> blonde? Bad math. One guy plus two dates equals three missing teeth. Archie's mine. Huh? Dream on, Betty. He's wearing my ring now. Hey. Oh, yeah? Ugh. Don't war over that, boar. I'm totally available. Scram! Well? Now, uh, isn't this cozy? No. Nine. Yet. You call this a solution? It, it's just that I'm so lucky to be with two such amazing girls. Go on. And it better be good. Well, Betty, you're an absolute angel. And Ronnie, you have the largest, uh, wardrobe in town. Angel? You want me dead? Largest wardrobe? You think I'm fat? No, no, I didn't... Well, that is... Archie threw up on his car? And there, caught in my headlights, stood the snarling beast. Bloody fangs dripping onto its hairy chest. Lupus lycanthropus, werewolf! <gasps> Archie, you saw a real wolf man? <laughs> huh? Stop the presses! Cub reporter discovers werewolf. <laughs> <laughs> that was you? Reggie, I could have crashed the car. Boy, Archie, you sure know how to show a girl, and another girl, a good time. <laughs> <laughs> that was the worst double date of my life. And that goes for me double. Boy, are they miffed. 
I'll play another joke on Archie. Oh, man. Now Betty and Veronica hate me. If I were you, I'd go apologize. I'm not listening to you, Reggie. Look, I don't blame you for being sore, but trust me on this. I don't know, Reg. Come on, Andrews. What woman doesn't love to see us men grovel in abject apology? That's true. Maybe you're right. Thanks, Reggie. Gotcha. Ronnie, I know I messed up bad, but let me just quickly say one word. Sorry. And let me say just two words. Smithers. Huh? Smithers. Whoa! Maybe I'll have better luck with Betty. They don't have a butler. Betty! Hi, sweetie pie. Bye, crumb cake. Whoa! Think I'll go home to bed. I'm bushed. Andrews, I heard your date last night was a howling success. Give me a break. <laughs> it's a gal a day and two gals a night. <laughs> if another joker brings up last night, I'm going straight to Principal Weatherby. Oof. Oh, sorry, Mr. Andrews. Uh, by the way, what's this about you taking Miss Cooper and Miss Lodge to a dog show? <laughs> <laughs> Good one, sir. Yep, if you ever want to bust up a date, here's the ticket. <laughs> huh? <gasps> Son, this werewolf thing is no laughing matter. I received complaints that a wolf creature was terrorizing people across town around 9 p.m. Some pets were even harmed. I, I only scared Archie last night. Hey, Archie, old pal, tell him I was with you at 9. Tell him! Yes, Sheriff. Reggie was annoying me at 9 o'clock sharp. But after that, <sighs> who knows where he went, huh? Son, if you don't have an alibi for the whole night, then we're playing 20 questions down at the police station. But, but... <laughs> Looks like Reggie's getting a reputation for crying wolf. Or rather, wolf man. Nobody believes anything he says now. Now maybe he'll learn not to play practical jokes. True. But what if Reggie didn't scare those people? Maybe the sheriff is barking up the wrong tree. You're right, Jughead. Maybe there really is a werewolf. I smell a weird mystery. So who's an expert on werewolves? I'm having second thoughts about this, and they're the same as my first. Let's forget it. Look, old man Cheney raises wolves, I tell you. He can answer all your questions. He does keep them locked up, right? Yeah, no sweat. Yes, sweat. Ah! Archie! Mm. Ah! Oliver, knock it off. You're not lawyers, are you? Uh, no, sir. We're high school students doing a report on werewolves. Werewolves, eh? Well, then know this, young trespassers. <gasps> to turn into a man-wolf, you need three uh -huh. things. A full moon, a pentagram, and the bite of a wolf. But to stop a man-wolf, only one thing will do. Something to counteract the silvery moonlight. Something made of pure silver, like a silver bullet. Really? Well, that's what I heard on an old monster movie. <laughs> Very funny. Easy, Jug. He may have a point. Sir, you said a wolf bite. Isn't that a wolf? No, no, he's mostly dog. He can't help it if he gets loose once in a while. Did he get out last night, sir? Well, at least this time the sheriff didn't have to bring him back. He'd come back on his own. Totally tame, you hear? Well, thanks for your help, Mr. Cheney. See you around. Case solved, Jughead. Pray illuminate me, Sherlock. Those folks across town didn't see a werewolf. They saw Oliver. So, are you going to tell the sheriff that Reggie's innocent? Sure I am. Tomorrow. I just wish I could make Betty and Veronica not hate me. 
Good luck. You'd have to save them from a real werewolf to get them back. Great idea! And you're going to help me. Hey, look! There's a great spot to bury that idea. Come on, Jughead. Nah, this sounds like one of Reggie's practical jokes. Someone could get hurt. Namely, me. There's a Titanic burger in it for you. With no napkins. I'm a slave to my own stomach. Do you get such crappy gas mileage they know your name at the gas station? No offense to hogs, but you're a bit of a gas hog. There, I said it. Why are you hating on the Earth? With the Fiat 500, just think of the money you'd save. Think it's 40 MPGs on the highway. I don't know what MPG stands for, but it sounds impressive. We think you should get a Fiat, if you know what's good for you. Listen, we have, we have several friends in the bear community. You know what I'm saying, right? Sometimes people go missing, you know. I mean, where's the most common place people go missing? The woods. Shopping malls, the woods, the desert. Those are the big three. Wouldn't want anything unfortunate to happen. Get to the closest Fiat studio. You'll save more than money. Arrivederci. Wolf was huffing and puffing. Kind of like you sometimes, Grandpa. Well, when you have COPD, it can be hard to breathe. It can be hard to get air out, which can make it hard to get air in. So I talked to my doctor. She said... Simbacord could help you breathe better, starting within five minutes. Simbacord doesn't replace a rescue inhaler for sudden symptoms. Simbacord helps provide significant improvement of your lung function. Simbacord is for COPD, including chronic bronchitis and emphysema. It should not be taken more than twice a day. Simbacord contains Formotorol. Medicines like Formotorol increase the risk of death from asthma problems. Simbacord may increase your risk of lung infections, osteoporosis, and some eye problems. You should tell your doctor if you have a heart condition or high blood pressure before taking it. Simbacord could mean a day with better breathing. Watch out, piggies. <laughs> Simbacord. Breathe better starting within five minutes. Call or go online to learn more about a free prescription offer. If you can't afford your medication, AstraZeneca may be able to help. I don't even know why I'm out here, Archie Andrews. I'm still angry with you. Ditto. Times two. I was wrong to mess up our dates last night. It was rude and unfeeling, and I beg your sweet forgiveness. <sighs> You're forgiven. Ah. I'm a whole man again! Did you hear that? Let's get out of here! I agree. The sheriff says there might really be a werewolf loose. You're absolutely right. When the moon is full, who knows what evil can crawl from a man's soul? That's not funny, Archie. Who's joking? Terror walks the streets tonight. I said, terror walks the streets tonight. Ah! Stay behind me, girls. I'll handle this brute. Be gone, demon spawn. Archie! <laughs> Hey, Juggy, not so rough. Psst. Sorry I'm late, Arch. I lost the rubber mask and gloves. If you're not him, then who is he? Uh, Reggie? One of us should get the girls to the car while the other distracts the monster. Good plan. See ya. Wait! Aren't you going to volunteer to stay behind? Sorry, I'm allergic to fur and having my legs ripped off. Bye! Run! <gasps> no! This way! Come on, ugly, chase me! <sighs> He'll never be able to turn the knob with those long claws. 
There really is a werewolf, but who is it? Well, it's not you, and it's not you, though you do wolf your food down. Oh, I'm a growing boy. Could it be Principal Weatherby? Not. How about Pop Tate? Negative. Moose Mason? Nah, too big. It's got to be someone else. Thanks for hanging me out to dry yesterday, Andrews. The sheriff didn't let me go till dinner time. You mean you were free last night? How about Reggie? Right size, right build, right jacket. What are you babbling about? Reg, you might be the werewolf. Uh-huh, right. Change your name to Jim Carrey and make me laugh. Ah, this is no prank. How'd your jacket get ripped up? I, uh, don't know. I went to bed early with a headache, and when I woke up, my jacket was torn and lying on the front porch. Don't you see? When the moon rose, you blacked out and turned into the werewolf. The same werewolf who attacked us last night in that same jacket. I attacked you? Cool. Not cool. You almost hurt Betty and Veronica. Wow. If I hurt them, they'd never speak to me again. Too true. You're a menace, Mantle. Oh, brother, you might be right. Archie, what should huh? I do? <sighs> Thanks, Sheriff. I feel much better. Okay, but I hope this isn't one of your high school pranks. It's just for tonight, sir. If Reggie does turn into a monster, at least everyone will be safe. And if he doesn't, everyone will still be safe. Well, don't worry. I'll keep an eye on him. Maybe we'll solve this mystery after all. Don't worry, Reg. If you're a wolf, we'll see you get professional help. In the meantime, can I get you anything? A face comb? A flea collar? <laughs> Finally, on the last night of the full moon, the werewolf was safely behind bars. Thus ends another of Archie's weird mysteries. Well, Jughead, I solved the case again. Good work, Arch. One thought, though. Reggie may be a mean, snarling jerk, but he doesn't exactly fit the werewolf profile, does he? What do you mean? Well, he's missing two of the three requirements. No wolf bite and no pentagram. What exactly is a pentagram, anyway? It's a five-pointed star. Looks nasty. Cut yourself? No, old man Cheney's dog bit me last week after it got loose. <laughs> well, he calls it a dog, but we all know it's really a wolf. Wolf? I wonder if we're related. Oh, by the way, Reggie, you left your letterman jacket here yesterday. I meant to return it. You mean I didn't have my jacket last night? No. I was bringing it to your house when it got chilly. So I put it on to stay warm. But then I... Hmm, I don't remember what happened next. Uh, what's wrong, Sheriff? I don't... Uh, don't... werewolf with something silver, like a bullet. What do I look like? The Lone Ranger? Wait! What about Veronica's silver chain? Archie, you did it! You broke the curse! 
You okay, Sheriff? Is it true? Am I really a... a werewolf? Afraid so, sir. But not to worry. I'm pretty sure that as long as you wear silver, you'll never change back. I'll never take it off. Thanks, son. Is... is it over? Yes, and so are these practical jokes, I hope. I hear that. When I tried to fool Betty and Veronica, it almost got them hurt. Plus, nobody believed there was a real werewolf thanks to you. Yeah, people let their guards down. It was way too risky. You're right, Andrews. From now on, I'll never make up stories ever again. Yep, I single-handedly cracked the case wide open. Sheriff Land said he'd never seen such bravery and cleverness. What a jerk. Why did I save him? Because you're better than he is, Arch. You did the right thing, even if nobody knows it. Well, thanks. That makes me feel a little better. But it doesn't help my love life one bit. Archie! Huh? Our brave hero! Huh? You know, last night, the way you saved us from that werewolf! You're a hero, even if you did lose my ring. Betty and I wanted to thank you, so we're both taking you to the movies. She's hogging all the girls. Where's my date? Try the city pound, wolf boy. To this day, most people in town still think the werewolf scare was just one of Reggie's jokes. But as Reggie learned, practical jokes can be risky things, both to yourself and others. Fortunately, werewolf problems are now a thing of the past in a little town called Riverdale. I'll thank you. Cool. Reggie is the best. Reggie saved this episode. You have the largest, uh, wardrobe in town.